Judy Garland said she loved working with Fred Astaire in this movie, and Fred adored Judy. So MGM immediately made plans to reteam them in another film together after Easter Parade. They were all set to do the movie The Barclays of Broadway as a team, also The Belle of New York and Royal Wedding, just to name three. But no more Garland Astaire pairings ever happened, mainly because of Judy's fragile health at the time, which was further affected by personal problems she was going through. So Fred Astaire made those movies, but with other ladies, namely Ginger Rogers, Vera Ellen, and Jane Powell. Then as of September 29, 1950, there would be no more talk of a reunion of Judy and Fred at MGM because from that day on, Judy was no longer under contract to that studio. And after leaving MGM, Judy Garland made only five more movies in the remaining 19 years of her life. Two of those movies were dramas in which she didn't sing at all, and one was an animated film in which she wasn't seen at all. Sad thing is, we should have more Judy Garland films than we do. The great thing is that her work in the ones we do have is consistently pretty brilliant. Up next, another Irving Berlin musical, this one with what was a new Berlin score, no recycled songs, and with the role Judy Garland was supposed to play, but done with energy and gusto by a great friend of ours here at TCM during her lifetime, Betty Hutton. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, there's no business like show business for Betty Hutton in Annie Get Your Gun. Then the French Embassy gets shanghai in Spion, and flashbacks reveal the many loves of the notorious Lola Montez.